Hey guys, Mindy here and welcome to my ultimate desk setup for gaming and productivity. This is where I spend most of my days editing, working, gaming and streaming. The key idea behind building this was to have a multi-purpose desk that I can easily switch between working as well as gaming. And also ergonomics. That's really important to me. I've always had a bad neck, so having a table like this, which I can adjust the height, and having a great chair like this that helps with my posture, really, really helps to reduce the pain in my neck. And that's why, big, big shout out to Only Desk who sent me this desk, as well as a lot of the desk accessories. And if you guys are interested in any of these, the Only Desk giveaway is still going on. Details in the description below. Be sure to check that out. But for now, let's talk about this setup. This is OmniDesk's latest sit stand desk. This is a huge upgrade from my previous desk. This is the larger 72 inch model. I went with the larger one because I wanted to house a dual monitor setup as well as to be able to put more stuff on my desk. But don't worry, I do keep my desk organized most of the times. I went with the black finish because I wanted something simple, minimalistic, and something that just matches the aesthetics in my room. However, there are many other designs from OmniDesk and I'll link them below. What I really love about this desk is that I can adjust it to the perfect height for me while I'm working. Whether I'm standing up or sitting down, this desk will be adjusted to my perfect level so that I can maintain a good posture, to maintain good ergonomics so that there's not so much pain going around my neck. And that's something I really, really like about this and it reduces so much neck pain. And I do realize that after two years-ish of using a sit-stand desk, that my neck pain has been significantly reduced. So for me, this is a really worthwhile investment. One of the main things on this desk is the dual monitor setup. This is something new that I recently introduced into my life and it has been a game changer. These two are the 4K 27 inch USB-C LG monitors and editing on them has been a breeze. <laughs> This is how I edit now, making use of both screens. There's just so much more space to edit on and it's just so nice. Both monitors are sitting on a monitor arm so that I can save more space on the desk. Now, the screen bar is easily my favorite, favorite new accessory for this desk. With this new desk setup, I didn't have any more space for a desk lamp and I needed lights that didn't take up space and so here you go, the screen bar was the solution. This is the BenQ screen bar. It has a very cleverly engineered clip design and this allows it to be mounted on most monitors. It's powered via USB. You can adjust the angle of the screen bar and the best thing is it is never glaring, never ever reflecting off the monitors, which is kind of amazing, I'd say. The light never flickers. You also have eight different color temperatures and 14 levels of brightness to adjust to. I usually have it set to auto dimmer mode so I never have to worry about it. And I love it so much that I actually may get a second one for my second monitor over there. The reason why I needed the screen bar is because the room gets pretty dark at night even if I turn on all the lights. So with the screen bar, my eyes get less tired when I'm working on these two large screens. Yep, there are actually loads of other third-party brands out there, but BenQ is a renowned brand and I figured I should go for something trustworthy when my eyes are at stake. BenQ actually offers different models of this screen bar, one with the dial, one that can be attached to laptops, and I'll link all of them below for you guys to check out. Now, powering these two monitors are two things. Firstly, it's my 16-inch MacBook Pro. It's my main workhorse. I use it for everything, everything but gaming because you can't freaking game on Macs. The MacBook Pro is docked here on the 12 South Arc. While this is one of the more expensive docks in the market, I wanted something well-built and sturdy to hold my expensive laptop. Right now, this MacBook Pro is charged via USB-C by these two LG monitors. In the future, I'm looking to get a dock so that I can have just one cable that connects the Mac to everything else. Yeah, that would be really, really neat. Now, for gaming and streaming, I turn to my PC. The PC is directly connected to my router, and so it streams and runs games really smoothly. It's powered by the RTX 2070 graphics card, and that is actually more than enough to power my gaming and streaming adventures. <laughs> but feel free to check out my Twitch for more gameplays on this PC. 
Now, making my stream possible is everything that is behind these two huge monitors. We have the Elgato Wave mic sitting on the Rode PSA1 arm, the Aperture ALF7 light, the camera mount where I mount my camera. I chose the Elgato mic because it's one of the best value for streaming and podcast needs. It's simple, it's just plug and play, and pairing with it is the Elgato Wave Link software where you can do more mixing on it. So I don't have to get a separate mixer for this mic. I chose this road arm because it's tall and sturdy enough to be mounted at the back of my desk. But one problem is my mic is way too light for this arm. So this keeps happening. I guess I probably have to get the Elgato shock mount to make it heavier so that, you know, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> This rig right here holds my light and my camera and is actually inspired by DSR Video Shooter, he's a YouTuber. I got this rig from a local store, but you can actually build this with some gears from Amazon and I'll link them below. Next is my keyboard and mouse. As you guys know, that is my beautiful, beautiful custom mechanical keyboard which I love very, very much. Just so much nicer to type on. I also got myself the Magic Trackpad because I edit a lot. The trackpad makes it easier to scroll through timelines and gestures. It brings back gestures, which I love. I use the MX Master 3 for work and the gaming mouse is actually hidden beneath the screen and let me just pull it out. This is the Model D- from Glorious. The shape is really similar to the MX Master 3 and I just love how lightweight it is. I've been using the Master 3 to game and I soon realized how heavy it is when I'm gaming so I wanted something lighter and something that's ergo friendly that fits my palm and so I picked the Model D- and it's amazing. One thing though, it would be so nice if this was wireless. Another favorite thing is the B&W speakers on my desk. I love them so much. They are so incredibly clear. They have great bass and they can get really, really loud. So they're perfect for watching Netflix, editing, as well as listening to music. Love it. And what I really, really like is that they fit so well on my desk with some space remaining. It's powered by a tiny little M that's sitting on top of my PC and I have Baby Groot and a few other decos on top of these speakers to keep my desk alive. <laughs> now, let's talk about organization. As some of you guys may know, I am super duper proud of my cable management underneath my desk. I've spent quite a bit of time trying to make sure that nothing is messy underneath. Unlike my previous setup, which was crazy wires going everywhere, this is much simpler and much neater and that makes me feel so much better. I've always believed that a neater desk makes me more motivated to work. So yeah, that's really, really important to me. Another thing that keeps this desk organized is this Hestia. It's basically like a pegboard that is mounted onto the desk. This is one of OmniDesk's amazing creation. I love it so much. It basically stores all my stationery and hard drives and it holds my headphones, which I really like so that my desk isn't that messy. I also put a couple of loose items on top of this shelf. Another wonderful add-on to my desk is this cup holder. It's a great idea for someone like me who sometimes often forgets to put the cap onto the bottle and then spills the water and causes a mess. <laughs> yep, that's me. And we also have this chair right here. This is the Herman Miller and Body Chair. I've owned this for about 10 plus years and it's still, till date, one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in, sat on. <laughs> Getting a good chair is especially important, especially if you're sitting at your desk most of the times, you need that good posture to maintain that good ergo so that you don't hurt your back because once your back or neck is injured, it gets really disruptive in your daily lives. And I feel like some of you guys may actually understand that. Sadly, that's, that's us. But for those of you who haven't injured anything, don't wait till it's too late. And finally, completing this desk setup are my light strips. First is the Colo light. This is incredible. It connects to my HomeKit, HomePod, and can be controlled via Siri. The second one is my old light strip that is now taped to my LG monitor. There is no HomeKit connection, but it can be controlled on my phone app via Bluetooth. I love having these backlights because it makes it much easier on the eyes whenever I'm watching shows or reading stuff or editing content. 
But yep, that's it for today. I hope this gives you some idea for your setup and tag me in them if you post it. I would love, love to see them. But yep, giveaway is still going on. Details are linked below. For now, take care, stay minty and cherry. Goodbye.